One of the things I noticed in God's word is that the Lord places a lot of emphasis on our prayer life. And the Apostle Paul knew the power of prayer. That's why he says, continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. That's Colossians 4, 2. And then he asked them to pray for him that a door would be open for the word. So you see, there is a power in prayer that can't be replaced by mere activism. When we get busy with a program, when we work hard to serve the house, when we do all this stuff, when we pursue excellence, but we're not pursuing prayer, I'm telling you, it's all in vain because the Lord wants to do things with us. He wants to be involved. What is the use of all this machinery, religious machinery, if God is not there in power? What's the use of gathering a crowd if Jesus is not manifesting? What's the use of bringing sick to a meeting if no one gets healed? And what's the use of having an evangelistic meeting if no one turns from their sins and puts their faith in Jesus? But these things will only happen if God gets involved, and they can happen at any level if God is involved. They can happen in a one-on-one -on -one encounter with somebody that doesn't cost you a cent if God is involved. If God is there in power, something is going to happen. This is what we need. There's no substitute for it. Putting on a better show won't cut the mustard. We have to get God and we need to pray. And so if in your church prayer meetings are not attended, if people are not into pursuing God, then I tell you, you're missing the mark because the early church devoted themselves to prayer, it says in Acts chapter 2. And uh, Jesus taught to pray without ceasing and he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Paul said, continue earnestly in prayer. In other words, they already were. It's not like, oh, uh, start. Now would be a good time to start praying earnestly. Continue, continue, continue. And be vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Give thanks and express gratitude to God. Express faith that God is answering. My dear friends, we need to devote ourselves to prayer if we want to get any lasting results and if we want to have the relationship that satisfies. God is available through the blood of Jesus, but we need to go and walk through that door. And the way to do it is by praising, thanking, and praying. And praying in the Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God. This is what God wants. And this is where we're going to see satisfaction, not in anything else, but in the presence of the Lord. And that is something that God graciously gives us when we want it enough. God bless you.